Minister of Agriculture is uh, in charge of food security and uh, wealth creation. As we appreciate, agriculture is the uh, largest employer in the country and it contributes immensely to the country's GDP as well as foreign currency earnings. Uh, going forward, uh, we intend ensuring we produce enough uh, to meet the national requirements as well as uh, uh, large volumes for exports. You may want to appreciate that uh, most of the produce from the farms ends up in the industry where value addition takes place. So there are a lot of value chain activities which take place as a result of uh, agricultural production. Uh, we, are also see, we will also be seized with the issues such as uh, ensuring that uh, we find ways of uh, countering the drought which we believe, which we are made to understand we could be having a drought this coming season. As a result, we are encouraging farmers to grow uh, small grains because most of them are known to be drought resistant. We are also teaching farmers on water harvesting techniques so that they can uh, derive maximum benefit from the little water they get, whether in the form of rainfall or irrigation. And uh, we, we are also uh, resuscitating uh, irrigation uh, facilities. As you know, we have quite a number of dams. We want to ensure that uh, uh, we, they are equipped with the uh, irrigation facilities so that we can irrigate our crops. Whether there is drought or no drought, we should be able to produce uh, uh, enough to meet national requirements. Issues to do with the rent, land barons uh, uh, don't fall within the purview of my ministry, but Minister of Local Government, because uh, that's happening on those farms uh, which we surrender to local government. So we no more have jurisdiction over those. Our challenge is that of uh, illegal settlers on farms. And uh, uh, we, we definitely want to see order being re-established on the farms. Those who, are, who have illegally settled themselves have to move out. If they de are desperately in need of land, they have to approach the appropriate authorities and the land can always be made available for them, but not just uh, uh, Ill illegally settling themselves, uh, that's not permissible and that has to come to an end. Honourable Minister, a red flag has been raised uh, over wheat shortages. What's, what's government's uh, way forward on the issue? The immediate way forward would be obviously to report which so as to fill the gap. But uh, beyond that, uh, we need to, to be able to produce enough wheat for our requirements. We have got a lot of water bodies. Yes, the unfortunate thing is some of the irrigation infrastructure is in a state of disrepair. We are making concerted efforts to ensure the, those the, the facilities are resuscitated so that uh, come next winter we should be able to grow enough wheat for our consumption and if possible even uh, surplus to, for export. So we have nothing to be worried about? Immediately, obviously, we need to be worried. <laughs> we, uh, we expect to have this team of the current wheat crop to start about end of this month. So in between now and the end of the month, obviously, we need to come up with the, the plans, uh, probably imports. <laughs> to ensure that uh, we don't run uh, out of flour, we don't run out of bread. Okay, so what, 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 what's, the, what's the fertilizer policy in terms of reducing the import between the country? What's government's plan? Well, 
if we are to reduce the input bill, it means we have to manufacture the fertilizer and produce it locally. But it also depends on the, the availability of the raw materials. To start with, we have got uh, the raw minerals, which uh, uh, produces phosphates, which are used uh, actually in production of fertilizers. Then we have uh, uh, the nitrogen part of it, ammonium nitrate. Uh, we need to import ammonia, but uh, once the, the coal bed methane uh, gas projects takes off the ground, then we should be able to use coal bed methane, which is readily available in the country, in the Lupani and the area and other areas. Then we have potash. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have known potash deposits in the country, so that bit will have to continue importing. I thought I had responded to that. Zimbabwe, July 30, we voted in peace. Let us continue to embrace peace and unity. Go Zim, let's keep the peace. Hello, hello, Zimbabwe. How are you? My name is Sebastian Wekwamagacha. I voted in peace. You voted in peace. We all voted in peace. We love Zimbabwe. I know we all come from different backgrounds. We've got different politics, uh, political views. But all I want to encourage you is to maintain peace and God loves you. Bless you. But I said it's a partial.